Papa Frank's Magic Garage. Definitely need ketchup with your cheese. Okay, this is my type of room. Is Dan still there? Um, you don't get to talk to him anymore. What about Dan? Dave. Guess what should I do here, guys? Should I put my card in here? Am I gonna get like a rabbit? The old man is gone, I'm pretty sure. But the son took over. Okay. And uh this is an interesting style so choice, huh? Guys make it come. No can do anymore. Too much hassle, whatever. Yeah. It's silly. It's not that hard. There's not much forming or, right. or anything like that. It's just we put it in a cup in a mandrel. Eat it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. you gotta, so they're two halves, you know. They're like mm -hmm. not that complicated, but complicated. Enough I wonder what like colors it. these come in, because uh, mm -hmm. so we're gonna start making the cone, and then this one's gonna sell us everything mm -hmm. right down to the voice color spider. Like, it'll just be assembled. Uh, yeah, it'll be like I remember Becker, the car stereo guy. Yeah, all those ten-inch clear speakers. Uh -huh. They were made on some little old lady's table, very old ladies up in Canada. I'm not kidding. Every one of those was homemade. You go drop off the parts, and every so often you go collect the first speakers, write them a check, QC them all. How are you? I'm here. How are you doing? All, all right. right. I'm, I'm trying to remember the face. From the oh, Waterfall hey, Junkie. And hey, you're Waterfall Junkie. On your YouTube. And Lou. Lou? Yeah. And, and who are you with? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you my card. So yeah, I've been I've been uploading videos uh, the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I thought I did a press badge for you. Right yeah, they didn't. Uh, couldn't find it. Couldn't find it, so they just let me. All right. All yeah. right. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. I'll make sure you're on the press list and everything. We'll have you next yeah, year. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So how's the show so far for you? Great, great. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, yesterday uh, traffic was a little light, but it was great for attendees, you know. It's the first year. Uh, is it? Okay. There's nothing you can do about that. <clears throat> yeah, sure. That's how I was, was telling some guys, are like, do radio spots? And do this? And I don't want to fill the show with bodies of people that buy their stereo best buy. Mm -hmm. this, you know, I'm, I, you I've been hardcore. an exhibitor for two years. Okay. I've been on the other side. Okay. You know, my room is 13, 1360 in the penthouse suite. Which one is it? It's a Daedalus. Oh, yeah, that's a great room. Yeah, I did that. I built yeah. that yesterday. Yeah, I built yeah. those speakers. That's my business. You built the Daedalus. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's my business. Okay, I thought. I recognize you. You're a little different looking than you have been on YouTube, huh? A little bit? Uh, I'm just older. Okay. <laughs> a little stressed. Well, I year. remember seeing you at Rocky Mountain. You had always oh, yeah. a room there. And yeah. you always do that cat corner setup, yeah. which yeah. is really yeah. good. And the beautiful finish. Thank you. Yeah, I love your stuff, yeah. But you know, the thing, the thing is, like, you know, you don't want a show filled with bodies. Right. It's kind of brilliant. You, you have this room filled with people, and they're all, they buy their stereo at Best Buy, and they're all taking up their time. It's a real customer saying the whole thing. Exactly, can't get, can't get in. Yeah, no, I agree. So I'd rather, you know, like, for, for me, it was a great day. I advertised to draw in those quality customers. Right. You know, so I've done what I could. But the yeah. first year, it's, you know, you, you know I'm not yeah. just bringing in bodies. The set, the look at good press. Everybody loves the show, the yeah. venue, the whole the venue's really vibe good. of it, you know. Sound quality is excellent. And we'll yeah. get then, then it'll go, go in the press. And the next yeah. year, we'll have people coming in. Quality buyers, people right. coming in from all over the country. But no, I've been impressed with the sound quality. Same rooms I've seen at other shows. Same gear sounds better here. Well, this, well, other shows. These are the rooms are typically about two feet more narrow than this. Is that right? Oh yeah, no. This so is, yeah, this, this is, is giving you a little extra this width. Is, this is about the size, and not even that deep. Okay. So it's a, the other other rooms are square footage wise maybe 75, 80 percent the size of these rooms. But even the um, exhibit room, the conference room seemed to have better, lower noise floor, less bleed through. It just yeah, it seems good, overall good. yeah. What's going on here though? This is a Heil. I don't know. I guess this is you have to ask. Oh, wait, what do you want? I 
them who you're talking to. Yeah, yeah I've got uh, Ben. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. He's suppressed. He's got some questions. I don't know. I'm going to let you go. Anyway, thank you. Good to see 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 you. Good
by treating it, this, this is a prototype, doesn't have it on there, treating the back of the cone with borosilicate paint dots. And borosilicate used to be easily obtainable as fireproof paint. Really? Now I have to mix my own because huh. I'm using something else. So you can buy the actual borosilicate, put it in whatever carrier you want. Back in the day, it was some kind of volatile uh, clear paint. Now I'm using polyurethane like you use on the floor. And, and you're going to you put just, dots of it? You put dots, different sizes, different positions. And it to break up the resonances, I guess? Exactly. Yeah. It dampens yeah. the resonance. That's interesting way to do cone. it. So you get what you want to get out of it. It's a nice basket and everything. Uh -huh. So, oh yeah, you can see there's a prototype number on there. Yeah. So, nice so, yeah. cast basket. Yeah. Nice magnet structure. Basically, very good driver, real solid. And how, what range is this going to cover? Well, we cross them over at about 100. So we don't oh, really? work them really hard. They can go down, but it has an issue with the base being a little bit weak. Yeah. I was trying, I was shooting for having these available as like mini monitors. Okay, yeah. But the driver just won't go. Yeah. It. And what I was using, I'm so unhappy because I'll never buy it from them again. CS. Oh, CS, really? Okay. Uh, bad stories about those guys. Okay. Thought, now, just between us, not... Oh, no, it's okay. just on YouTube, yeah, okay. <laughs> between, uh, between us, very, very poor quality control on some drivers, specifically the one I want to use, so... Okay, yeah, well, I mean, off. it happens. Every yeah, company right. has issues. Everybody. Oh, how high does this driver go? Cost is 800, but very soft. So Actually, 800 to 100, all. So yeah, one, yeah, basically it rolls in at 100. And then this and takes over off. everything well, actually, else. Actually, this actually goes a little bit higher, but it's a very soft roll off. This comes in at 800. Wow. Because we don't want it working down low like ESS used to have it. If it works too hard in the lower range, it has very much difficulty being clean in the higher range. Yes. Okay. And the thing about these is you're not hearing the diaphragm. You're hearing the breaking wave front that that diaphragm is creating which is created about a half inch out from the V-groove. Okay. So what's happening is all that. Since you're with the press, you get the full meal deal. Yeah. Since you have an accordion pleated diaphragm, what it's doing, it's squeezing and sucking the air. So instead of pushing and pulling, it's creating an interference wave front, which basically the wave front that propagates out comes into being right about a centimeter out roughly from this valley in here. Okay. And that's where the coherent wavefront begins to form. Behind that, if we had the proper analysis software and lasers, etc., you would see some very weird stuff going on. Is that right? Uh, because of the type of driver that it is. But my personal opinion is that Oscar Heil was about a good 80 to 100 years ahead of the curve. Properly utilized, this driver competes with the very best in the world, price no object. Mm -hmm. It will play clean. I might even go a little bit higher in the bottom crossover, but it'll play clean up to 25,000, no problem. Really? You just can't overstress it in the base region, or you start getting <coughs> right. internal Doppler effects and distortion like that. So these two, responsible for 90% of the sound yeah, you just ba basically you have a sub basically mm, basically but it's a slot loaded so it's a quasi fifth order box you get a okay. seal back which we're still experimenting with sealed there's so no ports or anything there's a seal box okay and then that slot actually has a purpose in that it translates the hemispherical wave front into an emulation of a cylindrical wavefront. Is that right? Very important for the sound stage, so on and so forth. Wow. So, and... Hey, guys. Hi. I'm running the old AMT Towers. Way to go, man. Thank you. <laughs> if you want, you can put your name down there. We'll send you weird and funny emails every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. You can't believe what it was doing oh, five man, minutes before it. the I'm show. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this is impressive in terms of all the effort into it. And uh, it's got that shabby chic look. 
god. You've already sold wine like this, so yeah, you might want to keep it. <laughs> but then we're going to do autumn finishes. Okay. Uh, and then this is an actual rosewood veneer. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting basement box. This baffle and this top are acoustically isolated from the rest of the cabinet. If okay. you see that little line in there, yeah. that's a high elastomer um, silicone product that never hardens. So really? The speaker is mounted just to the baffle. The baffle is kind of floating on this elastomer. Okay. So if I crank it up, you put your finger here, you just feel all kinds of vibrations because you just sympathetic vibrations. The further you go back on the curve, the less vibration you feel in the camera. So this the never point. hardens. That's interesting. Yeah, it's But it connects it, or do you have glue on top? I mean, how I don't do know. That's, uh, It's sticky enough. Sticky enough to keep it, it together. Will never, it will never sag. Once it reaches a certain point, okay. it adheses and then stays at the. Uh, have the Young's modulus for it and various other ways to measure it, but okay. it stays at a certain uh, level of sponginess. So okay. It so it isolates the baffle from the box. Same thing here. This is isolated. Not that we're getting much. Right. But again, if you. The sides are just plastic. Yeah. I went through a lot of iterations as to what to do. That's just the side. I filled them with more tight. Oh, really? See, then there's, there's the outside. It looks pretty, but it resonates, so it's going away. Mm, interesting. It take a solid wood block, CNC route a well, and just put the guts of the driver in that well and then cap it off. Wow. Simple. This is somewhat of a sophisticated box for. I'm mostly a base box guy, but I've been working on this for a long time, so you see the big ports in back. And oh yeah. If you shine the light you see that bulbous yeah. area in there, so it goes in with a separator. And we have a big bulbous area. So you essentially have a venturi effect. And it's a venturi effect that grabs it and lets it go so what it does is it makes the port resonance well it's resonance it's not really a port it's more of a pseudo port in that it's very large if you add up all the square area okay but you want to control what's coming off the back of the driver so if you stand back here you will get about 90 percent of the sound that's coming out of the front and meant to be that way because... Kind of like a dipole, I guess. Yeah, we want a dipole and dipole. We want to emulate a planar magnetic yeah. okay. dipole speaker. Uh, and then we have in the new um, stuff, we have ways to ameliorate the back wave if you need to. Okay. Um, we're using these little uh, pencil-sized dowels made out of alpaca wool. Okay. And they'll have a groove around the back. You have a top that's the same as this with a groove in it. You just bend these in as many as you want to refract the back wave. <laughs> oh my if god. If you want to knock it off all the okay. way, you just put a solid roll around. Alright, the more you talk, the more you blow my mind with all the stuff that you're doing yeah, in here. That's, that's why it's I just do it, crazy. Because you can't get it. <laughs> this is I've never seen anything. This will have like impeccable this. plugs, but oh my god. not as tightly packed as the yeah, okay. Amazing thing, I never knew how to work oh my to felt uh, wool, especially uh, from llamas or alpacas. You hit it with pins. And every time you hit it with a pin, I don't know you know, it will interlock more fibers. Really? They make dryer balls. They're about this big, size of a tennis ball. Almost hard as a rock. No gift to them. I said, this is out of wool. Yeah, how do you make it? Well, she explains it to him like, I'm flabbergasted. So Alpaca. every time you, yeah, because it's a certain type of long, thin. Is that right? Uh, this Alpaca is the first I've heard of alpaca wool, alpaca wool being used in a speaker. Uh, we're also going to be using it inside the front corner here. We'll be oh, really? stuffing this. Oh and my then God. eventually, this is going to be a boat cabinet. Okay. 
And then if we do need a port, it's really easy to do the big slot port in the back, and you get pretty good control over. And what, what are you going to sell these for? With the crossover, and right now we're just using a hot rod. And yeah. Piece of shit. I had a buddy that passed away last year, and he was no. No exaggeration, a genius with electronics, most of the tube stuff. So I said, hey, Steve, take a look at this, see if you can make it any better, if you can hot rod it for me. Yeah. He had it for about a month, and he got everything. Well, what'd you do? Not much. Really? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it's super clean. I just had to yeah. change a few uh, capacitors and uh, yeah. cut out something, some op amp he didn't like. So, okay, it's just, again, that's just a prototype. I have two engineers. I would be like... We'll be tapping on the shoulder saying, okay. these are the parameters. So it'll come with the crossover, target range, 15 to 20 grand. Okay, so this is with the wife acceptance factor option, and this is without. <laughs> That's what uh, once, once we're done, okay. all Botel cabinets, okay. this will be on a stand that okay. isolates it from this, like a cantilevered stand okay. included in the system. It'll be much prettier, all of it, I promise. Yeah. Well, I put and my card in there. You're going to send pictures when it's done. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll do either veneer okay. or um, automotive paints, probably. So you have a wide variety of choices. It's you know, it's funny seeing it this early in the game. And yeah. you're like, oh, this guy's nuts. He'll never do this. So far, it's been kind of long. It's so well, I think even if it was finished, I'd say this guy's nuts with all the stuff you got in there. I've never seen that before. The guy that's getting them is very, very pleased. He's that's awesome. He's way yeah. overwhelmed. We did mostly trade and some cash. Okay. And uh, I'm happy with what I got from him. The guy is a, he's a crazy collector, and he has okay. connections in Japan. He travels there sometimes. So okay. Some of the weird stuff. You never know how that network goes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. that's great. There's a few things like... The binding posts for these the two sets. Uh, each each set of binding posts, or each double set of binding posts, you're looking at a couple hundred bucks. Mm. Eight hundred dollars just in binding. Posts. Oh my god! Internal wiring. We're going. Be, we're somewhere between OFC copper and you know, continuous cast or silver. <coughs> we're working on that. Okay. But the details, the details matter, and. We're getting to the details. My welder's going to be here tomorrow to look at this. He hasn't even seen these yet and see what we can come up with for a aesthetically pleasing, gotcha. sonically correct stand for him. Well, I want to see it when they're done. I put my card in there. and oh, then, yeah, uh, I'll be sending yeah. out, to believe me, I'll be sending out lots of pictures. And, okay. And yeah, I don't want to keep you from uh, no, these are my guys. playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. we work for him. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I'll uh, so I have a channel. Yeah, I've seen some of the stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just uh, did a lot of videos on the West Coast, so yeah. Absolutely uh, be looking for it. Okay, so yeah, I'll upload this video. Good luck to you. If you have any questions, okay. yeah, just throw a card in there. Yeah, I did. I did. All right. And All right. Happy. Well, uh, I'm happy to yak it. As you know, it's not yeah. 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 until your ears fall off. So, yeah, well, it was interesting, so appreciate the uh, time. Sorry, so, so what was your name, sir? Jason, Jason with Audio File Junkie, yeah. Oh, he's, he's our video producer. Okay. Too, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I got my card in here if y'all want to look. I'll upload these videos. So, yeah. All right, great meeting you. Take care.